despite a nearly two hour rain delay Saturday morning, Baylor football still managed to pull off a 30 to seven win versus Long Island. After two weeks of hard losses, the Bears were finally able to pull together as a team to upset the Sharks. With the team, you know, you work hard and to get a win is, um, is, is something that was well needed. And um, I'm, I'm proud of their effort, proud of the direction we're gonna go. As halftime approached, Mother Nature decided to put a dent in game plans, postponing the second half, but spirits stayed high in the Baylor locker room. When we had the, the situation going on at halftime, you know, we had music playing, we had guys up, turned up, you know, dancing, um, you know, being loud, you know, um, patting each other, supporting each other, and um, it, it, it's, it was really, it was really special how we handled that little adversity in the, in the halftime. The rain delay, while cumbersome for spectators, is what Coach Aranda credits with helping Baylor to secure the win. You know, it's not a lot of times you have a do-over, and I thought the rain delay gave us that opportunity. And uh, I thought when we came back out after that, um, the you know the energy and the edge and all the things that we talk about was there. The real stars of the game were freshman running backs Dawson Pendergrass and Bryson Washington, who combined to rush for 156 yards. I look up to those guys. Like it's kind of weird to say that to to young guys. I look up to them and and I just love how they come out with the energy um, during practice during the week. And um, you know they're always trying to figure out ways to get better and we're going to need those guys. Even though the Bears received a win, Coach Aranda is still aiming to improve on the offensive side. Like we have to throw the ball better. I think we struggled in the pocket. I think at times we're pushing the ball. Um, you know, I think the weight transfer has something to do with that. And, um, you know, I think the skill that we have was not really able to put that on display. And, and, and you know, that was a big plan going into this game. And I feel like we fell short with that. And so we'll go back to uh, back to trying to get that right. Next week, the Bears will be back on the brasses to take on Texas in the last of their four-game home stretch. For Lariat TV News, I'm Claire Marie Scott.